Oh, you guys, put it fancy. Right. Last, not Sunday just gone, but I think it's the Sunday before that, one of the two, one of my recent videos, I shown you this mini survival kit from Polymath Products. And I said there's a one coming. I didn't expect this one, I expected a different one. I do have that different one, but I thought I'd show you this one first. Before I start, I do apologise about the music or the noise, background noise. My downstairs neighbours grandson just got a guitar for his birthday, so yeah. I think it's a good thing that people let kids play with music, so I do apologise for that. But and that is this one here is what I'm talking about. This here is the survival kit. It's the MOD and it's the BCB MOD one. That whole kit apparently weighs 0.47 kilograms. So half a kilogram. That's quite heavy in my opinion. But it's quite good. I am going to show you if I drop no drop it. That quickly, if you want to pause it, you're more than welcome to. That's all the information. So yeah, we'll get rid of that now, we don't need that. Right. <laughs> Before we start, massive difference. Big difference. It's double the size and it's like double the thickness. But before I start, I've seen a few videos on these and the truth is I just think people are just being sucked, in my opinion. Yes, I did tell you the truth what I thought of this one. I'm going to tell you the truth what I think of this one. But there's things some people say about certain pieces of equipment. What's in this one? And they say basically, oh, I think. I do like this pouch a lot. This is the one my friend said with the three kits. She wants to turn into one kit and she wants to use this. So I don't mind doing that for her. That's the reason why I'm doing this. So we'll open it up. What I like about it, it comes in two sections. As you can see, there's one down here, there's one up here. I think I'll start with the bottom one because then it's I'm not being rude, but it's less stuff, and then it's easier, to my opinion, to go for it. Right, to start off with, on the bottom, there is a decent survival sheet guide. I really do like this sheet guide. I think it's amazing. It's double A4. It's right in the way paper. So it's not gonna if you do reuse read this in the rain it's not gonna get destroyed there is an accident and relation report sheet what i think is fantastic to have and then there's a report card at the back as well what i like the idea of as well there is a couple of things i can say i don't like about this kit but i'm going to go through that when i go for it there is a bcb international emergency blanket this is a good quality. I'm not talking out of the bag. I'm not going to take it out of the bag neither. Because as I said, this is my friend's kit. But it feels a really good quality. And the tail truth. In my opinion, even if you add two or three of these into this into your, into a kit like this, it don't really matter because they flat down to nothing. They weigh hardly anything. So yeah. So that's that one. This is the thing most people, some people I've watched on this kit criticizes a lot of. And they say, why do I need a white in the rain notebook in a survival kit? Well, you've got to understand this is a military style survival kit. And um, it's things where you've just got to understand that you've got to write notes. Even I've not, I've I've done survival training, me and my friend accidentally ended up in a real life reasonable survival situation after some stupid happen. that's another time, another story, another time. And yeah, if you've never been in a proper survival situation and you go on for kits like this, or you've never been outside for more than say 
two, three days and you're going through pits like this, I'm not being rude, actually get outside and actually go outside and actually live outside for say a week or maybe two and then you know why there's some of the stuff in these type of kits so yeah I do like this I do think this is a good idea there is information things like nine light um, the nine liner so why I don't know I know you can't see that properly but I will be going through that in one another video and I just think it's a smart idea. I I have multiples of these everywhere in my kit. So yeah, let's let's move away from the notebook, shall we? Because now we're coming up to six minutes. <laughs> this year I don't understand, and I can truly admit this. And I know my friends already said that I can do whatever I want with this kit. So straight away, that's going a razor and razor and shaming um cream. I can understand why the military has it. My friend would agree with me, the person I'm doing this for would agree with me. This would have come in handy in that situation what we were in. But at the same time it wasn't a necessity. And I can understand why this is in here. I know some people don't, but I can. So that is all at the one pouch. Now we're gonna go off to this pouch. And in this pouch, what I like, I know the, the sort thing what upsets me. Everybody says, "Oh well, if it's if it's open like that in a display, when well, a display, yeah, everybody's going, oh, I like that. I'm not buying." It's like that for a reason. It's because you've got to add the stuff extras you want to add to it, not expecting everything to be done for you. In my opinion, like those mini survival, like go well, back for example, this one, I don't. But you can't add stuff to this one. Is that the table's full? This you can add a lot to. You can mix things up, you can change things around. So that's the reason why. Yeah, but it has a tin, as you can see, with some bits in it. I will go for that after. But beforehand, I'll go for the rest of this, what's in the rest of this pouch. Right, <clears throat> there's another thing. What really upsets me is when people see these. I can't handle. I'm gluten and lactose free, so I can't eat these because I, I will seriously be unwell. This is to give you energy. It's something to do with help with um, make you feel like you're full when you're not eating nothing. You're not supposed to eat all of these in one hit. You're only supposed to eat one. I think it's like one or two, maybe two a day, something like that. She can't have these neither, so these have to go as well. So, yeah, it's these, in my opinion, things like this are important. I've used things, I guess, in the past. I had to, I had no choice. But I won't live in that back again, so <laughs> yeah. But these are good. I just don't understand how people can be so hypocritical about certain things. So, yeah. I like this. Don't get me wrong, yeah, it would be nice to have more than just the one. That is a pre made snail. I like this 110%. I believe in having pre made kit ready to go in your surrounding. Yeah, a snare could this snare could take you maybe up to 20 minutes or even longer with your hands freezing cold. And if you're hungry, you're thirsty, you, you haven't slept, it'll take longer. So I agree, these are fantastic. I agree with these being ready to go. But I don't agree just having the one, personally. And I know a lot of people think, oh, well, snow and like this. In a survival situation, yes, you're going to do snow. Yes, you're going to try and get some food in a survival situation. If you've only got this and other pieces of your rucksack for kit. Yeah, you want to make sure you've got things ready to go. As you've seen my kit before, I haven't got it on me now. I'm like, I ain't got it in this room. I've got that in, in my bedroom. But these type of things, yeah, get them ready. And I agree with that. I think that's a fantastic idea. Just multiples, in my opinion. Right, um, 
a little bit of first aid now. Some waterproof plasters. Yeah. That's a good idea because small cuts can cause big problems. Same as big cuts can cause big problems, but a smaller one without you thinking, oh yeah, that's fine. I just wash it up, that'd be fine. In a survival situation, no, it won't be fine. So yeah, I agree with that one. I like that idea. As far as these saddle wipes. They're alcohol free wipes, basically. But they're not just for wound care. They're your bathroom stuff. They're your hygiene stuff. They're everything, these. They're six. So that's enough there. For a few days, for a couple of days. Or three days, maybe. For 72 hours. But if you're desperate, you don't. You can think of other things at the same time. Always think two steps ahead. So, yeah. Water purification tablets. Fantastic. Love these audios. There is more. There is, in my opinion, there is. There are some better pieces of kit out there, but there is better pieces of kit out there nowadays. What can go in kits like this? But because this is a so small pouch, slim line pouch, when it's folded, it might not fit. So. There's two, four, six, eight, ten purification tablets there. I like them. They've got a decent date on them as well. The, the five are 24. So, 2024. So, yeah. Last thing in the pouch before we go into the tin is a set of tweezers. As you can see, I do like tweezers, but these are shockingly bad. You cannot even grab a hair with these tweezers. Whatever you hold the tweezers, you cannot grab a right hair. So these are going straight in the bin. But I do agree having tweezers. Right, as you can see, that's that pouch empty. Now we'll go into that tin quickly. We're over 12 minutes now, so yeah. All right, guys. I have multiple of these. I give potato with one of these. That is a BCB wire saw. I do like these wire saws. I do like wire saws. I just don't like holding them. Well, now my hands are so desperately I probably won't be able to use it. So yeah. But that is a good that is a good piece of kit. To have something I really cannot stand in some model kit today. For the for the modern day or modern day yeah, whatever you want to call it, 25th century, that's better. You don't need to use condoms as water carriers in, 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 in um, some other kits anymore. That's one thing I don't like. <laughs> what makes me laugh, it says, no lub non, non lubricated. So, if you want to have, there's your, there's your, there's your, if you want to have sex, there's your protection, if you want it. But to me, personally, as a water carrier, <laughs> no. There's better stuff out there nowadays. This is one thing I love about this kit. And I'm being truthful with you. There's two things I really do think is amazing about this kit. One, guys, is this. I love this. I love the idea of this. I love the sound of this. I do actually, truly, 110% think this is probably one of the better things I've seen in a type of this type, these type of kits. There's a nice, it's not a big, big ferro rod, as you can see. It's quite a small one, but there's a good size of magnesium right there. Big, chunky piece of magnesium. It feels like a soft piece of magnesium as well. It doesn't feel like a real solid hard piece. There's a nice scraper here as well. There's quite a few. There's a nice, nice sharp edge there. There's a nice saw edge, and it's actually got a date on it as well. It's the twenty fifth of the fifth, nineteen. Don't know why that's got a date, but it's the date. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So yeah, that's just one of the two things I really do like about this kit. The second one is these. I haven't seen these BCB matches in a long, long, long time. I was. I was going to buy some of these the other day, but I got too many UCO matches <laughs> and I've just dropped it to the floor. That's fine, I want it. Yeah, but I was trying to get one match out, but. 
yeah they are good matches i do i do highly load like these i know these are not actually now in the ration packs now or mres whatever you want to call them now the british versions i think they put the horrible crappy pinky things in it now so i don't know why i really don't I don't understand why they changed from them real smart lovely matches to that pile of junk <laughs> right it's just time to rest this up quickly okay no i'll have to grab that one later oh there we go there we go sorry about that guys right this here i don't personally i don't get this personally and that's putting a tampon me personally don't go and stand it because there's more better stuff out there nowadays than that i know people say oh it's a fire strike yes and first aid and for female problem and for females what it's designed for but in these type of tins it's the same as that condom it, we got more up to date better stuff in the 21st century so we don't really need these two things i know these are 21st century products by the way but yeah a candle not very big one as you can see it's very thin i reckon this is roughly maybe a hour 90 minutes candle if that so yeah i do like the idea of these and people think these candles are for fire starters no they're not they're actually for light these candles the, the candles were designed for light they weren't the, designed sorry they were put in for light they weren't put in for start fire start yes you can use it as a fire star yes you can use it in an extension as a fire starter but the main reason why these were put in these were designed mainly to put as a light so basically where you can walk so you can have a light at your survival situation as well as a, a reasonably small heat source because with that as well as with the foil blanket you will keep reasonably warm so that's the reason why they're in there not for fire starting you do not put you can use them as fire starter if you wanted to but they're not designed for that in these types of kits right that's that little bit of a kind of one. This is the only thing I don't like, and that's these straight razor blades. I don't understand why these are now in. Why these? Why they put? They put two of these in. As you can see, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But at the same time, they are good to have. They are sharp. Yes, they are razor sharp because they are razor blades. But there's more better stuff and yes they put two in because then you can do one with meat and one with fish or you can do one with one with like like fire prep and food prep so yeah that's the reason why they put two in i just don't understand why these now when there's better stuff out there again for it the world's most to me personally pathetic fishing kit i don't understand this fishing kit there's quite a few nice little hooks, there's quite a nice few little swivels, there's hardly any line. And then you get these stupidly, humongously chunky weights. Well, why? Why do you need a weight that size for that little bit of amount of line? And there's not one, there's four of them. So, yeah, that. I will be improving and that harmonically will be gone. Safety pins, yes, I understand it, yes, I get it, I really do. But yeah, that's just that. Needle and thread or a little mini housewife. This is one thing I really bugs me. High heaven on the, one of these videos I watched about this. And that's the blog going, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you need to be all like um Thing. It's because it's got black, green, green, black and white. Because basically that's the only because you can have. It's like that because of one reason. It's a military kit. That's the only reason why. It's those. Cool. And then I just drop the tin. Oh, that's out of the tin. What I do like. That is a really decent signal mirror. And what I like about this signal mirror, truthfully, guys. Apart from that. <laughs> It actually has 
the instructions on how to use the signal wheel at the back. I really do like this signal wheel. I really truly do. It's it the top high quality one? Um probably not, no. Oh no. That little tab there guys is the actual mirror itself. Don't know why they put it on a sticker, but never mind. But yeah. I do like this. I really do. So, yeah. Signal mirror. Good piece of kit. That came in it. Right, this is the tin. If I remember rightly, I think this is a 50 gram backy tin. So, yeah. And what I like, what they've done, they pre give you the tape to go around the tin. And they pre cut it, they pre measured it, everything to go around the tin. And that's one thing I do truly do think it's a smart idea. There is a little, whatever you want to call it, little thing to keep moisture reasonably out of the tin. So, yeah. Well, I'm leaving it here, guys, because I'm massively over time what I wanted to do. So, please tell me what you think about this kit. I think it's a good little kit. I think that we can add things to this kit to make it better. And to me personally, it's always better than that. Oh, no, sorry guys, we're missing one thing. I've just noticed. And I can't even find it. There is a button compass. But as you as you know, hang on, sorry, just moving up. There it is. I don't like it. I like it. I like having a, I like having the compass. But personally, they could have added a bigger compass. You ready? There you go. It is tiny. So, yeah, and it does point north as well, and it's a liquid bait, and it's a liquid filled compass. So, yeah, right, I'm leaving it here because we're coming over nearly a long time. So, tell me what you think of this um, kit. Tell me what you would add. Yeah, tell me if you think I'm being silly because I think it. I think it's a good kit or good basis of a start of a good kit. So, yeah, right, I'm leaving it here. I've got to go. <laughs> so. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do come. Please join us here at Plymouth Fence. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and on here on YouTube. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm hope I'm I'm grateful if anybody with you guys are still with us all the way through this video as well. Um, we highly we highly appreciate all your support, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.